It's upon us, the beautiful holiday of Passover, an exciting time. I put my phone in cinematic mode so you don't see the boxes and boxes of paper goods and aluminum pans that are behind me, although you can still make it out probably. And really, we don't need Passover to remind us, at least for sure, for, for sure in our times, of the incredible miracles and hashkacha pratit, the specific divine providential care that the Almighty has for the Jewish people. And it's just the story is as old as time itself. 300 plus rockets of all shapes and sizes. They all are fired. None of them hit their target. One went through. And sadly, there was a Arab Bedouin girl fighting for her life, from what I understand. But it's an open miracle. And as a little exercise, I went to, I think, five news outlets to see how they reacted. And it's typical. Well, Iran just wanted to show dramatic show of force. If they really wanted to, they could have done damage. Or dramatic, but totally ineffective. It just to give a warning shot to Israel's uh, leadership, please. It was for maximum damage, maximum death to the Jewish people. And so just like the Almighty saved the Jewish people, what we call Bezra Netuya, with an outstretched arm and with great miracles back then when we left Egypt, he saves the Jewish people in the land of Israel now, right before Passover. What an amazing gift, an amazing reminder. And as we sit at our Seder table, we realize it's all worth it. I shared this with our Wednesday night class that my teacher of a Brookwood says the overarching thrust of your Seder experience should teach you one thing. And it shouldn't be fancy ideas from Kabbalistic ideas. And you should try to say every single opinion that the that's argued about how many plagues are in the sea. These are all important, but what is the overarching attitude that you must imbue in your children and must inculcate within yourself throughout the Seder experience? And that is very simply, in the words of Rabbi Berkowitz, my teacher, quote, how awesome it is to be Jewish. God willing, we should all feel this way all our lives and especially critically this year, more than any other year in our lifetimes for sure on the approaching Seder nights or the one Seder night if you are fortunate to be in the land of Israel. Shabbat Shalom and Chag Sameach.